Now, what did you see, George, the make me bid $700? As she asked, what the hails are you doing, Jeremy? If you haven't subscribed yet, what the hails are you waiting for? I'm waiting to dig back into the $700 unit. Remember, with the fees on top of that, that was taxes and an auctioneer premium of 10%, we paid $817.25. Auctioneer waived the 25 cents. So there's a lot in this unit, and we have to get the trailer empty so that we can go back to Dayton and pick up our $520 unit. So the videos may be jumping around a little bit, but that's our life. You get it as we live it. So we have to jump around. So that's just the way it is. And we're going to be jumping to another state tonight. So it's going to jump even more. Maybe a little place, a big place called Virginia. Who the hails knows what's going to happen there. While George is getting us packed for Virginia, many of you asked to see what's inside the sewing machine. So there's a $20 bill. That would be nice if it was actually real. This is the Singer Sewer. And then, we'll look in here, we've got some needles, some clips, an eraser, a glue stick, never have enough glue sticks. All right, let's, let's pan over here, see what we got. We have, whatever that is, something for a Singer, extra strength, durable so that's for that and then this one oh wow that one's really in there ah, got it just had to go Fonzie on it had to do a little happy days Fonzie on it so got some pencils craft items more or less let's check out the white oh these drawers have a lot more in them look at this all kinds of threads and bobbins. Look at this, we even have, there's a Helm, home snuff, an old snuff tin. Those usually go, I don't know, five, ten dollars a piece. I've sold a couple of those on eBay that I find in units that have antiques like this one. Look at that, the drawers even, they fit everything. How cool is that? And we are missing a drawer on this one. We're missing one drawer on the left, but for all the stuff that we're missing, we got a lot of cool stuff that we never knew we were gonna have. Let's open her up. Time to dig back into some boxes. We have, well, we got little mouse turds. That's never good, but we do have uh, porcelain. So that's porcelain. And I don't see you know, a little bit of something there. Mice got in there. So we got a porcelain doll there. Yes, D O L L. Dowl. It's not like roll, dole. It's not a dole, it's a dowl. All right, we got a little figure here, porcelain as well. Let's see what else we have. Oh. We got some kind of, we've got some kind of, uh, uh, say, Satan with the horns, little devil, little devil outfit. Actually, that would fit George. It fit more ways than one. That would fit her personality and her tiny little body. All right, we've got, we've got one here in the box, the Victorian Classics. This thing is a big one. So, your dreams, da, 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 that one's in the box. Here's another one, porcelain down, classical treasures. Let's see what we have here. Yep, here's another one. So we got another one right there in the box. So classical treasures, established in 1980. Somebody liked their, their dowels. Here is a fine porcelain dowel, and let's see, let's see if I can get her out. Come out, come out from wherever you are, ah, there she is, there she is. We do find a ton of porcelain dowels, and this looks like a Barbie, 
It sure is. That's a Barbie. That's a Barbie in with the porcelain dolls. Here is the Treasury Collection. We've got uh, Paradise Premier Edition Angels of Peace. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, there's her wings. Feathers. Glitter and feathers. Brand new, never out of the box. Look at that. Glitter and feathers. The thing I never want to see in storage units, and yet they're always there. And it looks like, yep, we've got another one. And she's wearing blue. And there she is. George likes the fries. I like me the chicken nuggets. Hit me with some chicken. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What do we have here? We have... Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King. This is Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King. We've got an entire Stephen King library. Now, there have been a ton of books in here already that I found, uh, but they're, they're from every genre. These people were obviously readers. They spent a ton of money on books, and we can see right here, uh, they had their favorite authors like the rock the way that we can find our value of our items really quick is to jump on ebay and we're in the ebay app right now it's a free app you can use it it is essential if you're going to resell we already typed in stephen king book we're going to hit the magnifying glass for the search now anything that has stephen king book those words are going to come up in the search we have 21,105 results this is all the live listings you see this they're asking buck 49 two dollars 12.99 that means nothing what people are asking for something means nothing to us we want to know what the actual value and that means what did people pay so we click on filter and then we go to sold listings now we're going to click done 11,895 items have sold in the past few weeks now what i like is to click sort highest to lowest now we actually have some real value so we see the highest one that sold was two thousand nine hundred fifty dollars it was the it Stephen King book and we can start scrolling and find out where our real value is we've got twelve hundred dollar books thousand dollar books and we're gonna go down to eight hundred dollar books seven hundred dollar books now what we have to do is figure out out of all of those books that we have which condition and edition is all a factor we need to figure out how much money we can make here's a lot right here 70 books 666 dollars that box along with some of the other boxes is going to pay for the unit pretty excited to get in this one it says fragile and something about antics somebody's fragile antics look at this you guys know who that is right that ain't Aunt Jemima. That's Mrs. Butterworth right there. I wonder who she was having fun with in that box. Let's find out. This thing could be a gold mine. Okay, we'll have to look these all up. If you look up just vintage teapots, some of these, I was looking at some uh, last night as I was trying to get prices for yesterday's video. Some are selling for $10,000, and then some don't sell at all so it's all dependent on what you have you have to do the research we've got names on that one so that's really good this is gonna be a little bit harder to figure out but it takes seconds it takes seconds for you it takes seconds for me to get on eBay and figure out if we have something incredible or if we have something that is gonna go in the next garage sale now since this person was an avid collector I'm hoping based on everything else we've already seen, that there's a ton of profit to be made. There's McCoy, which McCoy was USA. A little soup dish, I think you would call that. Obviously, I'm not much into glass, so I don't know if it's really a soup dish. This has a 308. Probably another. This is a haul. That one is a, yep. Hall. Not too familiar with this stuff. Glassware is not my expertise. I'm pretty sure most of you already figured that out. Look, there's an old soda bottle. How cool is that? 
Those are just, they always look cool. The old look, you know? It always comes back. Ah, yes, we know. They love their Coca-Cola. I was looking at Coke bottles last night on eBay as well, and some were going for thousands and thousands of dollars, empty ones. And I just shake my head sometimes at what people are willing to pay for something. Uh, if I had, if I was going to spend ten thousand dollars on a vintage Coke bottle, I would give ten thousand dollars to my church before I would give it for a bottle, for a piece of glass. But it's whatever you prioritize in your life. If you prioritized Coke, then obviously you're going to put your money and invest it there. Look at that. That looks like depression glass, although made in Taiwan, so it's probably not, so I'm probably wrong on that. And if I am wrong, I'm sure you're going to let me know down in the comments. You guys are always good about that. You don't miss a chance. Here we go. Primex. Made. Trademark. I don't know. Nothing. Alright, we got a couple more bottles down here. Uh, Helwig and Leach. Baltimore. Never seen this name before that I can remember. Number five. Johnny. Five is alive. Let's see what we have inside here. There's lots of, you know, like bags like this with all kinds of stuff. There we go. We got the Cleveland Indians. Now that's with the Chief Wahoo actual patch. So this has been changed to just the C. So obviously this is gonna become more and more collectible as time goes on. We've got a, looks like a Bart Simpson's Cleveland Browns, total offense. Looks like another Indians. I just saw the I and yep, sure is Indians jacket if this is my size which it is a large, it's a starter and a large, not my size at all. But this is my size. There we go, there we go. Superman pillowcase, that's my size. That is my size and my jam. Oh wait, 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 wait. Look at this, we've got Star Wars, we got we got Star Wars betting. We sure do. Star Wars betting. This is probably from the original stuff. We got He-Man. We got He-Man in here as well. We have... I think this is more... This is more He-Man. There you go. This is more He-Man. Two He-Man. And... Okay, we had Superman, Star Wars, He-Man, and I'm not sure what this is. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go, and now I know it's Hook. It's, it's Hook, Robin Williams. There we go, sweet. We're going back to George's Fries. Here we go. Ooh, 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 Look at this. Marbles. All right, I know nothing about marbles. One of our uh, acquaintances that goes to the auctions with us, he always tells us marbles is his specialty, and he watches. So if you are watching, let me know if you want to take a look at these marbles. And he says marbles is the hardest thing ever to actually value because it's the only thing that doesn't come with any markings whatsoever. And he's right. How in the world do you figure out the value of this marble versus the value of this marble and the wealth of knowledge that he must have to actually tell the values and the difference? And that's what he does, marbles. And I have no clue there on the value. But we do have an ashtray and a little galvanized tin with a bunch of marbles. We've got a little clown here. This looks like it swings. Yep, this little clown swings back and forth. <laughs> That'll freak you out at your house. Uh, we'll set that in here because that ain't coming home with me. 
I bet you we have another Longa Burger. We should, no, nope, this is Royce Craft Baskets. Bought this in 2000. Oh, Jeebus' favorite. Holy Jeebus. And we've got two memory cards. Uh, we got a 500, 512 megabytes. That's an adapter. And we have a flash drive. All right, you guys know the drill. This Sunday evening, my goodness, we are gonna have so many of these to go through this Sunday on the live stream. This Sunday evening in the live stream, which we do every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will share with you exactly what's on these thumb drives and cards. And let's keep digging in here and seeing what else we have because there's more. We've got a dowel. You get to see this now. You get to see what's on those information pieces this Sunday night. This is pretty cool. A little, looks like a Hummel, but it's made out of wood. I wonder if that has any value. I bet it does. Oh, and it looks like we have, it looks like we got a Precious Moments collection. We sure do. We found the Precious Moments. I wonder if there's more. I see a Precious Moments cross, and something's rolling out. We got an angel. We got another angel filled with glitter. I can't stand this glitter. It gets everywhere. And well, we got more Precious Moments, but oh, somebody's wing broke. His wing broke. This one's okay. Know anyone that wants to spend a spare $11,600 on one marble? Because somebody did, and that's how lucrative marbles can be. I gotta tell you, I love this unit because if it could be collected, they collected it. Here's Desert Storm, and the cards are still sealed. I think I actually have one of these at home. It's in better condition. Uh, I'm going to set that aside there since we can't open it up and look at it. And we'll see what we got. 92-93 Flare Basketball. Let's see if it's actually correct. And so, yep, we do have Flare. There's Utah Jazz. We'll see if everything is labeled correct. Yep, 92-93 Flare. So let's set those aside as well and see what else we might have. We've got a, well, it says 1985 Tops Football, and then it says Pro Set 1990. So, we've got a ram bush, looks like Bush and Saddam, and then we do have a pro set there. Let's just make sure. Yep, that's what we got. So that one is labeled correct with a random Saddam in there, or ambush. Oh, we got a black case down here too. This is going to be interesting. What do we have here? Super Bowl XX, so... We got Super Bowl 20 XXV. Does anybody read Roman numerals? Right there, okay. Uh, commemorative card set, let's see what we have. For Super Bowl 25. And we have, oh, it looks like there's some dirt in there. There is, there is some dirt in there. Yep, because there's a hole in the bottom and one of the cards is bent. But, we do have the actual set. I'm gonna set those aside too. I'll clean that up later after we go through this. Oh, here we go, here we go. We got a Topps, 40 years of baseball, 792 picture cards, and they're in there, man. They are in there. I don't think they've ever been touched. Let's see, what year is it? The year is 1991. Full set right there. Let's see what else we have. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. This is not baseball cards. This is Desert Storm trading cards. So here's more Desert Storm trading cards. The gum is still in there. You get the sticker. Man, these guys collected everything. There's another Desert Storm trading cards right there, put out by Tops during 
during the war. Oh, WCW 1991. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we got WCW and we have Hall of Fame swimming. U.S. Olympic cards. That is not WCW. Let's see if this is. And this is basketball. So maybe in the middle? No. Nope. Alright, we're going to set those aside. Oh man, it looks like I don't know what that is, but we've got sheets and sheets. I mean, as long as we're here, let's look through them, right, guys? I mean, if we hit the major, major, oh, the major hall, we could make, we could be millionaires. Not to say that some of us aren't already, but we could be multimillionaires. Oh. Holy cow, something just fell in the trailer. Holy jeebus. That did not sound good. Uh, it was a whole thing at bins and totes. Pat dies first game, and I just lost it. Now that everything fell back there, so we got a whole set of Coca-Cola cards. You can see that there. Uh, I have a feeling these are actually going to be worth something because I was looking at stuff again last night on eBay, trying to price everything for what I showed you in the previous video. All right, this is a good sign. If they felt like they, you know, valued the card. They would actually put it in a sleeve, and so there's multiples here in a sleeve. So that's a great sign right there. Looks like we got football and storm. We got some kind of storm going on here. This is all okay. Let's see if I can get one out. Well, there's a jiffy pop. There you go. There's a jiffy pop. All different valued cards in there. You guys want to see the case, the black case? All right. Since you do, let's look. You ready? Here we go. I'm ready if you're ready. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Be big money. Big money. Big money. Big money. Looks like there could be something here. Could be something. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. Rated rookie right there. Don Russ. What year was that? I forget when rookie... His rookie year... That's 88, I think. So we got baseball in here. 89. We got Don Russ, 89. Not the best years. Because baseball baseball basically got saturated. Oh, please. We might even find a comic collection in here. Not in this tote, obviously, but this looks like all baseball cards. But we may find a comic collection. Oh, there's your WCW. A comic collection in this actual unit so there's WCW cards right there there was sting Let's see what else we have in here yep WCW we got the wrestling cards now there's desert storm okay so this looks like a mix and we've got oh yes we got coca-cola trading cards this is this is incredible if this if it's the stuff that I saw last night on eBay, it's incredible. Coca-Cola trading cards all in the mix. Oh, I love it. These guys they were amazing. All right, there you go. I know SIO McDonald's. You McDonald's workers, decision making targets. What is this? Is this a training program? Because I still firmly believe that these guys actually owned a franchise if not more. Oh, there's Conan. There's a whole nother comic down there. Silver Surfer, now Conan. I wonder if we have more comics down there. Okay, 89 tops baseball cards. Let's see what we have. Yep, well, that's 91. That was a Don Russ, 91. Oh, I see something else down there. 89 tops football. Let's see what we have. Oh, we got packs, we got sealed packs. We sure do, we got sealed packs in here. We have Desert Storm. We got Desert Storm sealed packs in there and we have Desert Storm actual cards. So this is not Topps football. This is why we have to check everything. I will have to go through absolutely everything in this unit. Oh, yes, we got some Browns, 91. Flair, Felix Wright, I don't remember him. Okay, so this is football, 91 flare. Look at this. This looks like this is 
70s and 80s. Yep, definitely 70s. They're 79. Man, I gotta be careful with this. And they're all slipping out. I wanna show you, but I don't wanna lose thousands of dollars either. 74, look at this. We just found the good stuff, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna move these over. This is NFL. Maybe if I flip it, there we go. This is the good stuff. Oh man, they're, they're sliding everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna break some stacks up and show you. Okay, there's some tops right there. There you go, there's some NFL. Here is some more NFL. Got a Bernie Kozar in there. Bernie was our man. Our man. Okay, we got some all-stars. See what else we have down here. Everything, everything got flipped over, it looks like. Okay. Alright. Some wild cars. Wild cards. Sorry. I'm getting excited. When I get excited, I can't speak. We got some tops. Here we go. Some Indians there. Let's find out what year we're at. Looks like 91, 92. We definitely have some 70s. We may even have some 60s stuff in here too. Which is what we want. We want the older stuff. Alright. This says 85 Tops Football. Let's find out what we got. Like it's what we got. Looks like he might have a complete set too. It's all in order. All right, we got one more. We got a card set right here. Football cards. Here's the album. Oh, yes, Jerry Rice right there. 1,000 Yard Club, Jerry Rice. I think these are 89. Oh, man. And this is just only one tote. And look at that. 